maybe even the very first play I saw was in 85 and it was The Grace of Mary Travis. And I was just uh, my first year at uni studying drama. I was completely and utterly blown away by her, for a start, and the play. And the whole idea of a woman being in the lead in a play that was a kind of odyssey of her experience, because I don't think I'd seen anything like it, so I suppose it was my first sort of feminist um, piece of writing that was totally blew me away. And I said, well, I just thought I'm, I can never be an actress because Janet McTeer was so way beyond... And at the time, I was just doing a bit of stand-up, so I remember thinking, now that's a proper actress. But I was very inspired by that. So I would come regularly and see stuff when I wasn't at Manchester. I remember seeing My Heart's a Suitcase and thinking that was a brilliant play as well. I remember seeing Road, of course, and then what was weird is I had to be in Road the second time around, and that was incredibly hard because it felt like such a seminal production. Sarah Kane's Blasted, just after Jumpy finished, you came back to see Sarah Woodward mm -hmm. in, in Love and Information, mm -hmm. Carol Churchill, and um, I absolutely loved it because of the way it incrementally just led to some huge powerful feeling at the end you thought oh this is just sketches and the way that people used to say to me oh you just you do sketch comedy don't you yeah like it's a somehow lesser version of a, a distillation of what our culture is doing at the moment and I just thought it was the, the scene changes the acting I thought that was totally brilliant I thought The Low Road was absolutely brilliant as well, with a, as, a, as a final sort of parting shot, but just because it was brilliant writing and just the whole mix of a narration, working with physical theatre, working with a good political point. But that's, that's the joy of coming here, is the sort of fact that it's new writing, but it's, it's just trying to be challenging and much more cutting edge than just, oh, it's just new writing. So I'm trying to bring in lots of different forms of you know, physical theatre, monologues, um, feminism, you know class war without it being without it being tub thumping and heavy handed anyway many 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 groundbreaking plays i was on stage dressed as princess diana in the queen and i and i was seven months pregnant so my skirt had to be let out every sort of week but i was doing a great job of kind of holding it in and uh, so i was on stage and a stage manager walked onto the stage and said, um, ladies and gentlemen, would you please evacuate the building? And I thought, this is, this is brilliant. This is a fantastic prank in the middle. Somehow it's going to be... It's, someone's made an idea. So we kind of stood there and we, ca we kind of carried on slightly improvising, going, what are, you, what are you talking about? And he went, no, we really must leave. And then I thought, I'm pregnant. I have to get out. You know, I had a terrible sort of panic. And so <laughs> the audience rather... There was that kind of immediate, immediate buzz. So we all filed out and stood in the middle of Sloane Square. So me, dressed as Princess Diana, in a, in, with my kind of red Chanel suit on, surrounded by audience who were talking to me a bit like Diana, was one of the weirdest and most surreal moments of people actually asking me questions as if I was Di. And then, unfortunately, we didn't go back to finish the play. The whole place was cordoned off. So it was quite a scary, but in the end, very funny to see the royal family in the middle of Sloane Square. It's interesting because it's not just such an iconic building because you go, why do you love the court? And they go, it's the really comfy seats. It's like really comfy. It's like really, it's in the middle of Chelsea. It's not that, okay? There's partly that because the refurb was so brilliant. Like as often when refurbs are done, they're just like, you lose a sense of the building. So this refurb was just an utter triumph. Being able to keep, because it's just the most perfect size for a theatre. So there's not a single actor I know alive here in America anywhere who doesn't want to be here. So that you go, but why, you know, why is that? Why is it so iconic? And I think it is the new writing. I think it's the fact that it's champion new writing and you've got the international course as well, so that people are always being pushed up against the boundaries of all their comfort zones. So that not only do you just get brilliant actors and writers and directors, but it's the fact that it's an experiment and we've got to be able to fail to make good work. We've got to go, I tried and it didn't quite work or it did work or it, the first half worked and the second half didn't. We don't really get the chance to do that in, uh, in theatre anymore. So I'd wish for, um, obviously, as many female playwrights as male playwrights. I mean, obviously, there's a big um, balance to be redressed, but I think that that would be a, a hugely important thing to get a more diverse audience in here. Now, this is a diverse audience for Chelsea, 
you don't see this audience in at the national, for instance. So I think that is good, but I think more work needs to be done into getting a different demographic into the theatre, because sometimes it it feels like oh yes I'm I'm at the theatre, as opposed to I'm at the theatre, which is how it should feel. If the royal court didn't exist, I wouldn't bother being an actress. Because, I mean, yeah, Bush, Don Mar, Nash, Royal Court. <gasps> yes, please, when? Really, what an offer. Oh, my God, so not even a... <gasps> okay, okay, that's brilliant. Okay, thanks very much, yeah, bye. <gasps> yes! <laughs> yes! Yes, yes, Oh, sorry, sorry, it's uh, upstairs. <laughs> Downstairs! <laughs> No, in fact, because of course upstairs and downstairs are equally as good, and, and I would feel equally excited to be part of either. But um, no, it would be a very, um, it would be uh, so much more dull, wouldn't it? <laughs>